Though it's been around for a while, the debate on whether or not sucralose is bad for you continues on. And some people will say that it's unsafe because it's a synthetic sweetener, while others claim that there is really no true evidence to support the idea that it's harmful. So what is the truth? Is sucralose bad for you? That's what we're going to talk about in this video, and we're going to go over a couple different studies as well. So sucralose is a artificial sweetener that is made from sugar. It's actually about 600 times sweeter than sugar, and it doesn't contain any calories. That is why it is so popular in today's society. So it's been approved by the FDA as a safe food additive, and it's been used in foods and beverages for over two decades. However, some people believe that it is and can be harmful to your health. So one of the reasons for that is because sucralose is actually broken down into chlorine when you eat it. And yes, it's true that both bleach and Splenda do contain chlorine atoms, but they are completely different substances. So chlorine as chloride is also found in table salt. It's found in lettuce. It's found in mushrooms. And since sucralose isn't digested in the body, it's actually not released into the body at all. So, you know, people also had these concerns that sucralose and artificial sweeteners can be linked to cancer. But is there any real truth to that statement? So an article that was published in the Nutrition and Cancer International Journal can finally put those fears to rest because a comprehensive study review or a comprehensive review of the studies testing the safety and carcinogenicity of sucralose has confirmed that artificial sweeteners like sucralose does not cause cancer. Now, another study wanted to determine if artificial sweeteners are associated with long-term weight gain with increased risk of obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, and the study was published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal. And the thing is, it did show a link between consumption of artificial sweeteners like sucralose and aspartame and a relatively higher risk of weight gain, diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, and other health issues. However, I just want to point out that it's important to keep in mind that this exact study was observational, which means that it can't prove cause and effect. All right. So while there is, you know, the possibility that artificial sweeteners like sucralose can be linked to these conditions, more research is still needed to confirm it. So the bottom line, what is it? Until we know more, until we have more research and more evidence, it's best to enjoy sucralose in moderation just like we would with any other food. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave a link to all those studies that I uh, discussed in the description below for you to check out. And if you like this video, you're going to like these ones also. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.